Well, since it's Halloween, time for a Halloween special by reviewing the Adventure Time 2015 Spooktober Annual. Let's get into it. So the comic begins with Marcy and her dog Schwabble, I think that's how you pronounce it, exploring a city that got obliterated during the Great Mushroom War, looking for vampires because this was a tie-in with stakes. They stumble across the balls, the moon left behind, which sounds kind of bad to say out loud, jeez. It starts to pour rain, so they take refuge in an alleyway. They continue scavenging the next day and stumble across a truck buried under dirt filled with vampires that fly out into the sunlight and die. We find food and in a group of starting humans tried Marceline with spears, but dip when Marceline offers him food. She eventually finds him later and we learn that the forests are overrun by vampires and any humans that try to explore the forests are killed. Oh, and they manage to sneak in a sneaky alien reference. Nice. Anyway, at night, Marceline goes into the forest to take down some vampires, but one of the kids follow her and alerts a gang of vampires by accident. However, they overpower Marceline, pin her to the ground, and just start biting her, which looks pretty gruesome. But they stop to run when the kid dumps a jar of garlic on top of them. But the kid gives Marceline a reality check that she should stop rushing into fights blindly because she puts people around her at risk. Marceline passes out due to fatigue and dreams about Simon leaving her. She wakes up and realizes Grant dragged her back to the humans' camp, but she scolds her for putting herself in danger hunting the vampires. But Marceline finds a trail of the moon's orbs, which leads right to her not-so-hidden hideout. They battle and Marceline gets pushed back by the moon and gives up after swinging her axe for a while, remembers being with Simon and her dad, but while doing so, tricks the moon into getting close to her so she can suck out a small bit of her soul. We also find out why the moon screams pig. But to defeat the moon, Marceline destroys the moon's hideout and sucks her soul. But unfortunately, the comic ends here where Marceline and Schwabble looking for food since the humans left. For a one-shot comic, I'd say this was really great and definitely one of the best Kaboom Adventure Time comics I've reviewed so far. But I wish this, this was a lot longer and had a continuation. Anyway, next time I'm reviewing the Marceline the Scream Queens miniseries. But all that said, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and have a happy Halloween. See ya.